It's a really passionate club, a real family feel to it. There's a lot of pride in past teams and players who've worn the jersey. There's a lot of tradition. So every kid just dying to get their hands on a rugby ball and represent Munster. So um, the competition for places should always be strong. The reason for no silverware, I suppose, um, it's hard to answer. Um, there was a bit of a transitional period, whether people like hearing it or not. There's a new generation and it's time for the core group of us now at Munster who would be 24, 25, to step up and take on the challenge and not look towards those older guys for, uh, to lead us to silverware. It's our turn to lead the next generation. Massively excited to be involved in the European Champions Cup now. It's just a, a very exciting time around here. Everybody around Munster knows um, how tough our group is and how massive it will be uh, uh, to get out of that. The first two games, Sail Away and Saris at home, they'll be very tough, no doubt, you know, travelling over to Sail, it's been a while since we've played them over there. I think and um, it's always nice to welcome Saris here. You know they're a quality opposition, very tough side with a great squad depth. They just seem to have endless amounts of talent, so um, it'll be a tough game and um, any team that comes to Thoman Park, um, they'll be in for a fight. The only way I think we'll be able to say if we've had a good season is if we, uh, if we win trophies, silverware. Um, reaching semi-finals and stuff like that's not good enough. The Rugby World Cup's creeping up on us. Um, everybody wants a, a spot on the plane to the World Cup, so uh, a form is going to be massive for each player at the start of the season. So hopefully get some good performances, play well with Munster and uh, let the Irish scene take care of itself the Irish people and, and uh, <laughs> tend to back themselves no matter what, even if they are underdogs. So, um, realistically, I think Ireland can win it.